This year, I'm not resolving to change myself. I'm resolving to change the world. The world needs help, and a kid like me can make a big difference if he puts his mind to it. Only question is, what do I do? Do I help clean the beaches to make it safer for ocean life? Or do I start a recycling program here at my school? Maybe I could do something to save the whales. No, not the whales, the manatees. No, wait, what about the cheetahs? Yeah, no one's helping the cheetahs. Maybe I can help them. Hey, mate, could you direct me to... What can I do? A canned good drive? No, cheetahs don't eat canned goods. What about a fundraiser? Yeah, that's it. We'll raise money for cheetahs. We could sell coupon books. No, wait, Krispy Kreme donuts. That's a good one. Or maybe I could put on a concert. Yeah, I'll put on a concert right here in town. Excuse me, mate, could you tell me? In a moment, mate, I'm rolling here. We're going to have a concert. A three-day festival called Cheetah Stock. No, Cheetah Aid. No, wait, Cheetah Rock. Yeah, that's the ticket. We'll pack the house with ten, no, twenty big-name rock bands. Hey, I just need someone to... Not now, man. I'm trying to save the cheetahs. We'll sell a million tickets. We'll raise tens of millions of pounds for the cheetahs. I'm going to do some good in this world by saving the cheetahs. That sounds great, but before you get to all that, could you show me the way to Mrs. Kelby's class? Mrs. Kelby? That's my class too. Are you new here? Yeah, it's my first day. My name's Mike. I'm Ken. Nice to meet you, Ken. I hope we can be friends. I'm new in town and everything. Just moved from across the country. You mean you don't know anybody? Nope. You're the first person I've met. Wow. Well, we're sure glad to have you. I'll take you to class and introduce you to everyone. Okay. Just give me one more second. On second thought, forget the cheetahs. I'm going to change the world by being a friend, starting with this guy. I can hear you. Sorry, Mike. Let's get to class. Happy New Year guys! I hope you had the best Christmas you could. Who's excited about going back to school? Yeah! Okay, let's open in prayer. Father, this year use us to show other people that you love them. In Jesus name. Amen. There's something about New Year's that makes people take a long hard look at themselves and ask, what's wrong with me? What do I not like about myself? What was bad about this past year and what can I do to fix it? New Year's offers people a chance to start over. They can put the past behind them and they can set some new goals. Some people make resolutions to go back to school or find a new job. Some make resolutions to lose weight, to eat better and to get in shape. Other people make resolutions to quit bad habits or start new ones that will make life better for them. And still others make the resolution to work on their relationship with God. They want to read the Bible more, pray more and grow closer to Jesus. These are great choices to make at the start of the new year. And some people actually stick to their goals and make them happen. This year, we want to challenge you to make a resolution, not about yourself, but about other people. We want you to resolve to show the world that Jesus loves them. Instead of resolving to improve yourself, you can make a resolution to make the world a better place for other people. We can become like the hero of one of Jesus' most famous parables. We can take a pause, look beyond our own worries and problems and do some good for someone in need. The Bible says in Luke chapter 10 verses 25 to 37, Jesus told this story so we would know how to be a good friend to those in need. 
A man was walking along the road from Jerusalem to the town of Jericho when some bad men stole his coat and left him lying on the side of the road badly hurt. The hurt man lay in the hot sun. At last he saw someone coming past. He was a very holy man who loved to pray. Help me, please, cried the hurt man. But the very holy man took no notice. He walked on the other side of the road. He didn't stop to help the hurt man. He was too busy praying to God. A very clever teacher from his own town came past. He walked on the far side of the road and pretended to not see the hurt man. He did not stop to help him. A stranger from the country of Samaria came along the road with his little donkey. He saw the hurt man by the side of the road. The man from Samaria was very kind. I will help you my friend, said the kind man from Samaria. He gave the man a drink of water, helped him and put him on his donkey's back. He found a place for the man to stay and paid for everything he needed. Jesus wants us to help other people that is called being a good Samaritan. There were three men who had a chance to help the wounded stranger in this story. A priest and a Levite, two religious men who knew God's word backwards and forwards, saw the man in need on the side of the road. They ignored him. They thought about themselves and their busy schedules. They thought about the time it would take to help the man and the trouble that would come from trying to get him to safety. They walked to the other side of the street and passed him by. The only person who stopped to help was the one Jesus' audience least expected to care. The Jews in Jesus' time didn't like Samaritans and it would be unthinkable to them for Jews and Samaritans to help each other. Yet this man saw someone in need and thought nothing of himself or his prejudices. He bandaged the man's wounds, he went out of his way to get the man to safety and he paid for the man's care out of his own pocket. Jesus says that if we love God we will love other people the way the Samaritan did. We will think of others first, we will take our time and our money and put it to use where it's needed. That's a resolution that can change the world. Resolving to make the world a better place can make a big difference in the lives of others. What if you resolve to collect all of your change and give it to a ministry? The pennies, the pounds, anything you acquire over the next year can grow into lots and lots of money and make a difference for a missionary overseas or even here. Or what if you resolve to collect canned goods or old coats for the homeless? Crisp packets that can be made into sleeping bags. There are many people right here in our own community in need of help and we can put our time and energy into helping strangers right here in our community. Here's another way you can make a difference. Be a friend to the kid in your school who doesn't have any friends. I'm sure you can all think of one or two kids who may be a little different. Those kids are God's children too and he loves them as much as he loves anyone else. What if you resolved to be a friend to everyone? What if you took the time to make friends with one or two kids who really needed someone? I said earlier that this resolution isn't about you but that's not completely accurate. Resolving to love others is about you. It's about becoming a person who puts the needs of others first. It's resolving to take the time and listen when no one else will. It's resolving to save those pennies for charity instead of a new toy. It's resolving to think of the needs of others ahead of your own. This resolution isn't easy, but no resolution ever is. 
it takes perseverance and prayer to become a person who puts other people first. But if we commit ourselves to that goal, God will help us reach it. Let this be the year you learn to love your neighbour as yourself. Commit your year to loving others, to doing just one new thing to make the world a better place for others. God will use you to change the world one person at a time. Let's close in prayer. Dear God, open our eyes so that we can be loving to other people. In Jesus' name, Amen.